Hey everyone, it's me again, and I'm back with another video. I told you in the last video of how to install Oracle VirtualBox and uninstall it that next week or the week after, or sometime around there, I'll be uh, coming out with a video of, of how to install QEMU, KVM, and Burt Manager along with a couple other packages that you need to install to get that to work. And I will also be showing you how to uninstall that. Um, very simple for stuff like Linux, mainly uh, distros that are uh, like Ubuntu. So if you're running a Linux distro that is like Ubuntu, you came to the right place if you want to know how to do this. So we're going to be doing this all through the terminal. So hit Command Alt T to bring up your terminal. So now what we want to do is people say that you should always make sure that your computer is up to date. So I'm going to type sudo apt update. I'm going to ask for your password because you're at you're trying to run a root command, which sudo stands for super user do. In case you did not know, so it's going to go and check for uh, updates at 20 packages that can be upgraded. So we're going to run uh, sudo APT, I believe it's just upgrade. Don't forget to spell upgrade yet. Yeah. Oh, I see why I spelled wrong. Up. Alright, now that we're done with updating, we can start installing QEMU and KVN. So, we are going to be installing what I just get, told you, QEMU and KVM, along with Livert Daemon and uh, Livert uh, Client. And... There's another package here, bridge, unit, whatever. So I'm just going to copy this. I have notepads. I end up finding out that there is another package we will have to install here. So I'm going to just, actually I don't think it matters. We're going to go space, and then we're going to put lib, bert, dash, Daemon, Daemon, I'm not sure. Anyways, we're installing the system for it, but I'm not sure if it really matters. I installed this too, and then I end up having to restart my computer, and it seemed to work, so we're just going to go with it, and can't hurt. So, if it doesn't need it, it won't install it. If it does, um, so try this restart libvert but it failed to do so, so we'll end up doing that. I'm not sure. I think that um, that's why I run into a problem where it does not recognize libvert um, is because it failed to restart uh, to restart it or start it period. And so when you restart your computer, it starts it. Not sure. So now we're going to be installing vert manager because QEMU and uh, KVM is terminal based virtual machine uh, software so if you use it with vert manager vert manager is your GUI which is graphical user interface so we're just going to install it once it's installed you can go to your applications you show applications menu and it should be here now oh wow it actually worked um, most times it would tell me something like uh, can't find uh, lib libvert dash daemon or damien I'm not sure. Um, if you have that problem, try restarting uh, the service, and I believe this is the correct command for it. Possibly. Okay, and. Um, if that does not work, 
then try restarting your computer. All right. So if we go to create a virtual machine, you can see we got this local install media ISO forward. Um, we can select one. I believe I have one in my downloads folder. Um, browse. Oh, yeah, we have to go here. We'll browse local. Okay. It's been a while since I've used this one. I use a lot of virtual machine stuff, but. The emulator may not have search permissions for the path. All right, so I have either 30 gigabytes, 36 gigabytes of memory in. Some's being used up, it's so probably why it's not 36, but I'm pretty sure I had something like 36. I don't remember. Might be 30, a little over 30, I don't know. No, 32. I think I have 32 gigabytes of memory. So we're going to give it 16. Um, correct. 16. I think we had another zero in there. Because that would be one gigabyte if we gave 1600 um this right here i believe would be 16 gigabytes forward we'll give it 35 gigabytes of storage All right, there we go. I don't know why it kind of like just locked up or did something funky and I ended up just having to force it off. I did not want to do that because I was worried that I was, might have to go and reinstall it. But here we are. We have Ubuntu 16.4 LTS. Come on, log me in. There's settings you can go and tweak and make it a little bit faster, but normally it's pretty fast with Linux, so... I don't know, it's just me running at our applications and whatnot uh, going on here. And then also screen recording, who knows. I really like uh, Ubuntu 16. I can, I can kind of jump off this and go to Mac and like system settings. Same thing, actually, I think it's system preferences. And uh, it kind of looks the same, don't it? A little bit. It's kind of designed the same settings and whatnot and some other stuff. So um, let's see display and then we just change our resolution to spray this one and apply boom we got a full screen here look at that something kvm is not aware of or not no virtual box oracle virtual box something that is not aware of you don't need to add have some kind of add-on or anything to uh get a full screen experience of your operating system now i have noticed that once in a while uh if you like shut down your uh virtual machine and then you get on here uh you might have to go back in your settings and set it up uh that again but other than that once in a while you have to do that but other than that it's fine um runs pretty good so if you want to go do like a tutorial project you can go do that um 
I hardly ever have problems. Close it. And yeah, I really enjoy the VM experience with this in case anyone actually cares. And uh like Windows key and stuff like that, it now works with this. So quite nice. Um I'm just gonna kill it from my editor screen. Cause I don't really care about it. Now how do we remove packages and software we just installed? I know someone's going to be like, uh, you know, maybe I don't want it and I want to uninstall it or you came to this video because you don't want it anymore or something. You know, you want to try something. It's all, it's like as easy as installing it, you know. Um, by the way, all commands will be down in the description. They'll be clearly uh, explained uh, up at the top of them. It'll say, uh, commands to install and they'll have them then at the bottom it'll say something like commands to uninstall and then underneath that text will be the commands to uninstall it and it's just as simple as changing a few words or like one word at the beginning so oh there's something I was going to do what was it I don't remember. Um, let's see. Uh, there is one thing I'd like to take a look at. I would like to figure out where this is. I don't remember if it said or not. Um, all right. So first thing, you might want to go in here and delete your virtual machine. And it's running. I don't know why it started running. I don't remember hitting uh, start. So if it doesn't delete, it's in varlib livert images um but delete this because if not i'm not sure if it'll it might when you remove lib uh libvert but now what you want to do is we're going to go and we're just going to copy this command control shift v this is the uh, first command we put in here to install um, all those packages and QEMU and KVM. Um, there's one thing we're going to add. We can add it right here, I guess. Uh, we're going to put a package we installed that we added uh, with this. So it's going to be lib vert dash ba mon. You can try it without this, but. I just recommend going with it. So there's one word we changed to uninstall it. So we started out with sudo apt install. Well, we're just going to go sudo apt remove. Ask us if we want to convert, confirm it. It will, after this operation, we will have 1,933 kilobytes of space freed. It aborted. Why did you abort? Let's put a Y. There we go. I don't know why. Normally when a Y is capital, when it's asking if you want to continue, you just hit enter and it goes through with it. And if the Y is lowercase and the N is capital, you have to put a Y and hit enter to confirm. Next up, um, well, actually, if we go here, just preview that it removes stuff. It's now saying not connected. It's not recognizing that there is QEMU kvm and libvert uh packages installed here in fact it's going to tell you that there is no active connection to install on so next up we're going to get rid of libvert or not libvert but vert manager so we're just going to copy and we're going to put sudo apt remove control shift v Paste the name in there. And let's put a Y so it doesn't just abort it for some dumb reason. Now let's go into our show applications. Alright, it took a sweet little bit of time. You even got to see it remove right there, but it's gone. So, in this tutorial, this is an overview. We showed you how to install um, QEMU, KVM, uh, packages that you need to run along with them so you can use QEMU and KVM 
with a graphical user interface which was vert manager and then i showed me using that to install ubuntu 16 and showing that it did work and then after all that i showed you how to uninstall qemu kvm and the additional packages and vert manager very simple as simple as installing it just same commands just one word gets exchanged one word gets changed anyways i hope you found this video helpful interesting at least if you know someone that's interested in this kind of stuff or has been needing help with this type of uh this category of stuff or would find this video interesting please share it it helps support the channel also if you would like to help support the channel uh, give the channel a give this video a like go check out some other content subscribe make sure that the bells on uh, So you don't miss out on any other videos um, If you are a longtime subscriber make sure that you're still subscribed because I hear YouTube likes to do mean things to uh, the content creators and not and the viewers and Turn off the bell and unsubscribe you from a channel. So if you have subscribed to me Make sure you're still subscribed. Anyways, stay safe. Gaming ain't a crime. And uh, move the Linux. Leave Windows behind. See y'all.